Okay everybody, so what we wanted to do today was just to take a few minutes to show you the new axles that showed up just a few days ago and compare them to what came standard in the junkyard axle when we bought it and then what was on my Jeep before. This was on my Dana 44 under my Jeep. This broke in Windrock, Tennessee. It was our first trip there. We had been waiting forever to go there. I hit the first trail and this is what happened. And it was, it was bound to happen eventually. Unfortunately, it happened in Windrock. For the rest of that trip, I had to ride an Edgar's Jeep and it, it wasn't as much fun as it could have been. Wow, easy there. <laughs> so, like I said, this came standard in the axle and we got it from the junkyard. This is the 1480s, a 1480 assembly. Um, this was standard in the, in the trucks from 2005 to 2016. And this is the 1550 assembly. This comes in standard in trucks from 2016 on. You can see there's a sizable difference and what we decided to do instead of replacing one of the seized u-joints that we found that we had we decided to go with an upgrade this only the upgrade only cost about $250 um, which is a manageable upgrade another option for an upgrade even further would be our CV shafts but those are about $3,000 so we definitely went with this for many reasons but this will definitely fit, fit our knees just fine here's a comparison of all three axle shafts side by size the Rubicon Dana 44 the stock axle shaft out of the junkyard axle and the upgraded axle shaft. And what we have next for this is getting these axle shafts in, um, getting the three link brackets put on, and then working towards getting this axle under my Jeep. So I hope that you guys continue to follow along, subscribe to Edgar's channel, and uh, you'll have another video for you soon. See ya.